Michel Lotito is both a gourmet and an exceptional record breaker. You shouldn't be surprised if you see him ignore ham and chicken while he's out doing his weekly shopping with his wife, because the food that he's keen on is normally found in the DIY department. But this is a man who, when he eats in a restaurant, carefully prepares his own selection of top quality products. The sharper, the more breakable or piercing the ingredients, the better the meal will be. Naturally, not every restaurant can cater for a man that the whole world has nicknamed Mr. Eats All. Though at Chez Jackie, it's a mixed salad for Marcel, while Mr. Eats All is already greedily eyeing his favorite starter, one that he prepares so well. Well, just like you cut off a slice of meat from a roast, well, I break mine with a hammer and I eat it. Mmm, mm, it's delicious. And how's yours? Mm, mine's really delicious. Well, he certainly seems to be enjoying it. But despite appearing relaxed, Mr. Eatsall is a master of his art, which is first and foremost great control over his body. A superb concentration without which he could have an accident with the smallest of his extravagances. As you can see from this x-ray, the chewing technique for these ingredients is essential for a good preparation. The next stage, the esophagus, is tricky. There's the risk of tearing the delicate tissues as the sharp objects go down. In addition to his contractions, Mr. Eatall has a little trick to make them slide down into his stomach. And after all that, would you care for a dessert? No, not for me. I don't eat bananas, thank you, no. When I eat a banana and I have metal in my stomach, it causes heartburn. And as I'm soft, I hate pain. So, unfortunately, I can't eat bananas. Too bad. Or rather, just as well, for Marcel loves them. Mr. Lotito prefers a different delicacy. Chewing, swallowing and digesting the sharpest object possible is a challenge which, with experience, really excites our man. But Marcel's not reassured. Mr. Lotito is preparing to eat the sharpest object there is. I'm always afraid that something will happen to him. There is always an element of risk in the things he does. But in order to reassure him, I never let him see this fear. After this controlled violence, his body progressively takes back control of things, which involves a new risk of internal bleeding. From the age of nine, Michel was already amazing his friends by defying pain. At 16, he ate his first glass by accident, and it took him 10 years to eat bit by bit this plane weighing 1.5 tons. But since 1977, his record for eating bicycles has made him famous all over the world. Michel establishes his records thanks to a well-proven cutting technique, which makes ingestion easier. Mr. Eatall's abilities are exceptional. Just 20 minutes to eat all the spokes of a wheel and 40 to swallow the rim. Even Dr. Morzol, his doctor for nearly 25 years, can't work it out. We can't explain it. He's been examined from every angle by different doctors. With gastroenterologists, we've studied the passage of these ingredients into his blood and the modification that their absorption could bring about. But we've never found a valid medical explanation. Biopsies and blood tests have shown that his organism is just like anybody else's. In fact, it's more a mental problem. He's been doing this for nearly 30 years, so his organism is beginning to wear out. Aggressing his stomach and his intestines like this inevitably raises the question of survival. But we don't have an answer. He's a prototype. We just don't know what will happen. We can only put him on his guard. Marcel's also worried, but the great complicity she shares with her Michel and their marriage two years ago mean that she respects her husband's crazy way of life.